What's up everybody, 32 Icon here. I hope you guys are doing well. I'm doing well myself. Please go ahead and like and subscribe and share if you haven't already in good faith that I'll continue bringing you great content. Oh, and I'm just another YouTube personality, so take what I say with a grain of salt and do your own research, okay? All right, so listen. I'm gonna to try to make this video quick because the sun is going down and it's starting to get dark in here. And I wanna do this before I have to turn on the kitchen lights and all of that. So I'm gonna make this quick. Hopefully I can do it in one or two takes with a little bit of editing and um, I can get it out to you guys for this week. So today we're going to be talking about the, which I'm so excited about, Primary Arms SLX ACSS prism optic with one magnification and this is the green reticle so i did a live video the other day and i said i was gonna have to bring this to you and i didn't want to wait an entire weekend to get this to you so i'm trying to do it now after work so optics plan to thank you guys for sending this over if you guys go on their website you can save five percent by using my code 32 icon all right so i'm gonna get into this optic okay i'm gonna give you a synopsis okay, of how I felt about it during my experience. And there are several other videos on this that go into greater detail. I suggest you check those videos out. Let me know your thoughts on it. This is an oldie but goodie that's been out for a couple of years now. So I'm new to it, but um, other people have already experienced this and have raving reviews about this uh, optic. So this is a prism optic, okay? Now, let me go ahead and give you some of the features and um, then we're gonna get into the details of it. So it's about nine pounds and four inches long, okay? It has a glass etch reticle, which is in black. It also has the ability to illuminate, so it has 11 different brightness settings. It's about four inches or so of eye relief, 3,000 hours of illumination if the setting is on medium. It takes a CR2032 battery plus fog and waterproof half MOA adjustments, it has a quick adjustable diopter ring, it has a lifetime warranty, and it is compatible with the micro mounts on the market right now. So overall, I really, really enjoy this optic, all right? It's excellent for those who have an astigmatism, okay? I know that we talked about uh, other red dots that have that starburst effect or has a little, um, blur to the red dot looks like it's slashed or something like that um those are usually the uh results of someone who has an astigmatism so they don't quite see a crisp red dot like other people so if you have that going on this is sharp it has a sharp chevron and i'm going to show you uh some photos or videos of it and it's clear, the glass is very sharp. It doesn't have um, a tint to it like other red dots. Some of the red dots that I've shown on here has like a slight tint, um, but this is very clear. So it doesn't have an emitter that is reflecting off a of glass that is coming back to you. So you don't see all of that glare. It's just glass and you see the etch reticle. Now I mainly shot this indoors. I did not take it outside. I did put the illumination on and um, it was bright, but indoors is also dimmer than outside. So the brightness settings worked really, really well. Um, I haven't shot it outdoors, but I heard that, you know, when you're outdoors, you don't really need the illumination because the etch reticle works very well. Now, um, I also heard that it can be used with a magnifier. However, I did not use a magnifier with this, okay? It does have windage and elevation. Let me take these off. These can come off. The lens protector can come off. Um, do it here. Okay, and that's what it will look like. This is your adjustable diopter back here. I would suggest that um, when you're adjusting it, uh, to make sure you do it before you put it on your um, rifle or whatever you're gonna, whatever long gun you're gonna use, and then adjust it accordingly. Um, I'll show you here. I use my other, and depending on your eye relief and where you have your brace or your stock, 
because it has about four inches or so of eye relief, I had mine about, let me see, one, two, three, four, five. I had mine about right here, okay? But I also had, let me show you. I wanted to take this off so I could show you. But I also had my brace extended all the way out and I had it about right here. So for me, I didn't have a lot of, um, uh, what is it called, burn on the outsides where it gets like a little black. I didn't have that issue because it was the perfect eye relief for me. Now, when you're setting it up, if you don't have the perfect eye relief, um, when you look through the red dot, it's gonna look like, kind of like this. You see how it looks like it's kind of getting black as opposed to, you know, having that crisp, uh, clear, um, field of view where you can see your reticle. So you have to make sure, oops, you have to make sure when you're looking at it or when you're looking through it, there you go, right here. So I don't have, it's not like the black shade uh, is obstructing my view in the glass, all right? Because it has to be at the perfect length. Now, once you get that set up, you are good to go. And once I had it at the range, I was good to go. I didn't have any problems when it came to that. All right, so let's get into this reticle. So on the reticle, I'll show you guys here. All right, so on the reticle, you have the chevron, you have a half a circle, and then you have these lines. So first up, you have the chevron, and it's infinitely precise. So you can zero out from 100 to 400 plus yards. Then you have the CQB, okay? That's the horseshoe. That's for quick acquisition. You put that on your target and you fire. Next, you have the target range and ladder, and that ranges from 200 to 400 yards out. Again, I haven't shot outdoors yet. I have not shot that far. When I was shooting, this was about 75 feet. Uh, 25 yards was at the indoor range. That's as far as I could go out, so I wasn't able to really push it. But most of my um, long guns and, you know, others or ARs are mainly close quarter combat for me. Now also with the reticles, one of the great things that I like about the ACSS is that it has 556, 308, 54x39 bullet drop compensation. So it lets you know exactly where you will hit depending on where your chevron is placed on the target. So that's very beneficial and it comes with a manual to show you the different options depending on the caliber that you're using. All right, so overall, I really, really like this optic, okay? It has a clear glass, it has the etch reticle where you're not using a lot of battery, so you use about, you don't know, 3,000 hours of battery. However, that's only if you have to illuminate it. So if you're shooting mainly during the day, you're not gonna have to use that battery. So I really like that. I like the ACSS reticle. It gives you great options for long distance and uh, CQB shooting. And not only that, but the green dot just pops, okay? I love that about it. Check out this mount too. I don't know if you guys can see that. All right, uh, the cons for me. When I'm adjusting the brightness setting, which is here, where it's also your battery is placed, if you notice, it has numbers, but it doesn't have a zero in between the numbers. A zero in between the numbers is really beneficial because if you want to put it on a brightness setting one, you could put it on one. And then if you want to turn it off, you just turn it to a zero or a dot, which means that it's off. I don't have to keep turning, turning, turning to turn it off, okay? It's just off, it's in between every number. So that's the only thing that I don't like about it, right? I have to kind of turn forever to get it to turn off. The other thing is once you get this, is very stiff. So when I first got it, it was just like really, really stiff. But um, it could be a good thing, right? Because if you're doing a lot of rapid shooting with your 5.56 or a 762, eventually you will, you know, if it's not as tight, this can loosen up and turn on its own. So you don't want that. But I wish it was just a little less stiff so it'd be easy to manipulate. So those are the two cons. The other con, if I had to mention, is that it has a big footprint, okay? So it does take up a lot of rail space, but on the flip side, it's very rugged, 
right? It's very, uh, it's made very well, it's durable. So I guess because of its size, you get the durability of it, but also you get a larger footprint. So if I had to rate this on a scale of one to 10 with one being, are you crazy? I'm not spending a dime for that. The 10 being shut up and take my money, I will probably rate this as a nine. Again, this is not for everyone, but if you have an astigmatism, this is exactly what you want. And even if you don't have an astigmatism, you can use this for close quarter combats as well as long distance shooting. As long as you have the right eye relief, this is the way to go. It is a great option for those out there who like to use long guns to shoot, whether you're doing close quarter combat or long distance. So that's that on that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts down below. And uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you're doing well. Treating one another with kindness. And I'll see you on the next video. Thanks. Peace.